Well, construction workers from across the country are calling the Golden Triangle home, at least temporarily. And those workers need a place to live, and many of them choose to live in RVs. Our Kamari Hamer joins us live in the studio. And Kamari, you talked to the CEO of the Golden Triangle Link about what the campsites means for employees. That's right, Marcus. RV parks are providing what you and I may take for granted in our daily lives, something as simple as a place for out-of-town workers to lay their head at night. Using campgrounds for housing is the route that many out-of-town workers who choose the Golden Triangle for their profession take. In the Golden Triangle, our workforce comes from 37 counties and two states. Uh, now, if you live in Monroe County or you live in Clay County, or you live in Octavio County, or even Lamar and Pickens over in Alabama, you're probably getting up, coming to work, and going home every day. But as those distances get greater, uh, it makes it impractical for you to, for those drive times. Most of the workers who depend on campgrounds are plant, construction, and steel dynamic workers. They often work long hours with not much time in between. A lot of these plants are working four 12-hour shifts. And by the time you work 12 hours and drive two hours to and from work, that gets to be a long day. CEO of the Golden Triangle Link, Joe Max Higgins, says the long hour shifts is another reason why the Link is working with RV parks to provide affordable housing. We're seeing and have for years folks that are, that are finding places to live here while they're working here. And a lot of them are using RVs. The RV parks not only allow workers to save time, but they are also saving money. We called one last week and talked and said, what are you charging per slip, is what I call it, the, the pad, the water, the sewer hookups, $600 a month. You furnish your trailer, $600 a month. Higgins says those savings trickle down to those who call the Golden Triangle their permanent home. Without access to the RV parks, people that br use that as an option, uh, during these construction projects or for these folks that work here on these shifts. Without that, that would just further stress, I guess would be a good word, our rental markets, okay? Uh, likely drive the rents up even higher and then the availability uh, would be down. Higgins says there are more than 3,000 construction workers in Columbus that rely on RV parks for housing.